In this video, I'm um, going to show you how, how I installed my uh, 110 volt outlet, 120 volt, however you want to say it. Uh, I've heard it called both. Um, it's just a regular outlet. You can plug an extension cord in. Um, you can, you know, plug it up at your house or plug it up to a, gen a regular generator. Um, and, you know, you can run your microwave off of it. Um, you can run anything you want to off of it. Um, and, you know, within reason that you could a 20 volt, 20 amp outlet anyways, like your microwave um, or a small microwave anyways. Uh, um, like a little space heater. Um, and I, uh, like in, on my trip, I, I have uh, been on a trip since then. I installed this, um, making this video actually after I've, after I've done the other um, done this installation. But uh, um, on this trip, I've ran a little space heater because I didn't have the diesel heater working or set up yet. Um, and also, if, when I've cooked baked potatoes in the microwave, I've hooked my generator up to it just so it wasn't drawing too much uh, power from my solar system, my battery. Um, so here it is. I got my uh, what you call that name brands Marine Cow. Bought it from. Where did I buy that from? Uh, oh yeah, I bought it from Gander Mountain. Actually, in Louisville, Kentucky, is where I bought it from. Um, it's for bought it in the boat section. Anyways, uh, I got my 12 3 wire um, wired up. I already, uh, I already filed out the hole to make it bigger out there because I had a hole already there from uh, an outlet I already had before. And um, I filed it out to this size because it was quite a bit smaller. And um, so now I'm going to go install this in that hole and I'll have this wire in the trailer as I can do as I please. I don't know if you're supposed to put a uh, Let's go back around and uh, clean that beetle tape off, but that's actually really nice and uh, secure. I was kind of worried about this plug. I mount it through the wall. Don't pay attention to all that stuff. That stuff's not done. But uh, ran it up there. Oh. Ran it up there through a hole through the countertop. 
You can see the hole down there and I just wired it up to a regular house house outlet. So if you're able to plug up to 110, 120 volt or run your generator, you can plug up to right there. And there it is with a faceplate on it. And that's my 110 volt, 20 amp outlet install that you can run off of. Like I said, you can run it off of a house out, 20 amp house outlet, or you can run it off a generator. Um, the real reason I, I had that was, well, just in case I ran out of solar energy, I'd like I'm gonna have a video of that later on, of my solar setup. And uh, I, I um, like I live in Florida, so I'm gonna definitely need a need an AC unit. So, uh, so I plan on running the uh, the AC unit with a generator. Unfortunately, I mean, I've heard you can run. An AC, a small AC unit off solar, but you need a lot of it, and you always gotta have solar power. You know, Florida in the summertime it rains a lot, um, so um, definitely not gonna go camp without in the southeast and uh, in summertime without an AC. So that's why I, that's the main reason I installed it. It's very simple, and it'll run what I want it to run. So, anyways, thanks for watching.